Hi there and welcome to Get Indie Gaming and to a preview gameplay video of Felix the Reaper, which is due out October 17th, 2019 via Steam and all of the major consoles, which includes its coming to Xbox Game Pass from launch. In this preview, I'm taking you through a few of the stages in the first level. There are no spoilers, with the footage giving you a decent overview of what you can expect from the game. Funnily enough, you play as Felix, a civil servant who works for the Ministry of Death, as he goes about doing the Ministry's bidding of seeing away certain individuals in interesting ways. And to this, let's think along the lines of the final destination and your there or thereabouts. You begin on the first day of your employment in the Ministry, and together with your handler, expertly voiced over by Sir Patrick Stewart, you get cracking on your first victim. The gameplay forces you to stay within shadows, and you're able to manipulate how the sun casts its darkness by way of pressing, in the case of the Xbox version you see here, the right shoulder button. Here's where the skill and difficulty of the game becomes apparent. You need to use items in the levels such as trees, bales of hay, and anything else large enough to project a shadow, and therefore a path for Felix to walk or should I say, dance his way around the level. In terms of navigation, you're able to pan out and zoom in nice and tight, and also spin the level around on its axis so you have a good overall field of vision, with this having been implemented with care and skill. On a similar note, professional dancers were used in the modelling of how Felix moves and slides around, and it really shows in his animation. Felix also seems certainly well versed, in a number of styles from breakdancing to funk to pop to jazz and even classical ballet from time to time. The effort in creating these movements by way of I assume stop motion photography really does uplift and shape Felix's character. The music is also pretty darn great with as could be expected it using a number of genres and styles to mirror Felix's dance moves. Now again on the subject of dancing, the narrative at the beginning notes it's this capacity for dancing and the enjoyment Felix takes from doing so is at times something unnerving to other reapers. Felix gets a warning early on not to overdo his prancing too much. While you dance and shimmy from spot to spot, you have a number of tasks to complete before you move on to the next section. Up here in this preview, we have footage from the first level, as I mentioned earlier, and it's Felix's first day in the job. His first task is to arrange a hunting accident for the chap here in green, and like chess pieces on a board, you manipulate the environment to ensure certain things happen to join the dots from A to B to C, which in the end results in the end of the man in green. I played this game 18 or so months ago, and since then, Felix the Reaper has undergone a number of key improvements. The first thing I noted is how there's a new or at least massively improved sundial on the bottom right of the screen. You use this as an indicator of which way the sun is shining, so you can use it as a pointer on where you can expect the shadows to fall as you manipulate the sun. Get things wrong and poor Felix gets a dose of sun and vitamin D that doesn't seem to cause him too much harm, although he's clearly not a fan of getting a sun tan. So far I'm impressed with Felix the Reaper and find it offers a fairly decent challenge across its levels. There's a rather fine undercurrent and overall story here as well, with Felix, who has the love of his life in a character called Betty, who incidentally enough works for the Ministry of Life, although I'll not go into that in any detail for fear of spoilers. Do I have any initial misgivings? Well, perhaps? Yes, after the initial introductions and tutorial, the first couple of stages could have done with being somewhat more snappily paced, although things build quickly enough as you progress. I like it, it's different and quirky, and I love the slightly tongue-in-cheek macabre nature of the story and the visuals. I suspect it could be one of the sleeper hits of 2019 in the puzzle genre. And with that, Let's settle down for five or so minutes of quality time with Felix in what remains of this spoiler-free preview, and I'll come back to you once again towards the end of the video.
And so with that, we're almost out of time with this preview gameplay video of Felix the Reaper. Hopefully this has given you a nice little taster into the game and what it's all about. Please feel free to drop me any questions you have down in the comments, and if you've liked this video and the look of Felix, please be sure to click the like button, and if you haven't already, now would be a superb time to subscribe to the channel whilst hitting that notification bell as well to stay fully in the loop with Get Indie Gaming. Many thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all here again soon for more indie game videos.